autism unscripted hey hi (laughs) hi my name is grace i'm interviewing gabriella marinelli yep (laughs) yeah Thank you. Um, I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, it's really cool to be uh, interviewing you. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll go to the first question. Who's first? Um, are you from Staten Island? And what part of the island are you from? Yes, I'm from Staten Island, <laughs> and I actually live in Dungan Hills and was born and raised there. Okay, that's cool. I yeah. don't know where that is, but okay. It's <laughs> on the North Shore. You know where Rab's Bowling Alley is? Yes. Right yes. there. Yes. Yeah. We've, we've gone there. Okay, yeah. that's cool. You guys have some events there, I feel like. Yeah, we'll sometimes. There. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there with I've been there with my friend a lot. So. Yeah, it's <laughs> fun. I love bowling. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> How did you discover the Grish Foundation? So when I was in high school, going into college, I had a passion for media production. So... I went around looking for internships with media production companies on Staten Island, and I found Gotham Trinity Productions, and they did a lot of work with the Grace Foundation, and it gave me the opportunity to actually come onto your campus and see what it was all about, and from there, you guys kind of like stole my heart. I've been to (laughs) so many of the Grace Galas. I went to the most recent world record breaking um, of the infinity sign. Right, yeah, that was actually yeah, cool. That at, was cool. Yeah, it was at St. Joseph by the Sea um, and some other really fun events. So I just love being a part of this Grace Foundation of New York community. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> hey. What year did you become Miss Richmond County? So I became Miss Richmond County last year in 2023 in November. So I'm coming up on the ending to my reign, but hopefully a new title will come. Okay, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. All right. How was it being a part of the Miss America competition? Oh, my goodness. I loved it. Uh, from being a local title holder of Miss Richmond County to competing at Miss New York, I think my favorite thing about competing in the Miss America competitions is just a self-growth that you see within yourself because it can be hard to get on stage and talk publicly speak like we are like on a podcast but in front of so many people and just to see the growth as you keep preparing as you keep practicing in all aspects of the competition is just very inspiring to yourself to see what you are actually capable of and then also just making connections with the other girls who are competing you're not really competing against everyone else you're really just competing against yourself each time you go seeing if you could be better and Uh, Just walking away from Miss New York, I was the third runner up, which was such a shock to me. I just wanted to make maybe top 10 and to have been third runner up my first time around at Miss New York. It was so surreal, but I just had so much fun doing it. That's cool. Yeah. (laughs) You must have been like really happy. Oh my goodness. I was like on the verge of tears and it's almost like I won. But to me, third runner up was winning. It was my first time out there and I just wanted to have a good time, and I felt really confident in everything that I did. So Aw, that's it, good. Yeah, it meant a lot. Aw. What college did you attend, and what was your major? So I attended Hofstra University, which is in Long Island, New York, and I majored in television and business and also got a minor in journalism as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> it was really fun. When did you start walking on Good Morning America 3, and how was it like to walk on the set? So I actually had an internship with GMA3 once I graduated college last June, I I started. So June of 2023, I started at GMA3. Being on the set was so much fun, just seeing how all the segments came together, Mm -hmm. being with some cool celebrities at the same time (laughs) and learning how to keep that professional line of not, you know, being too excited. 
And yeah, I would be like, oh my god. I know, right? <laughs> like, like I would have been like so excited. You want pictures with everyone? Yeah. And you're like, wait, this is my job. Like exactly. I need, to, yeah. I need to cool down. But after that, did you get a picture with them? Some or? some celebrities, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, okay. If I if I actually like worked with them on a segment, I had the chance to right, maybe take okay. a picture with them. Um, but other times you have to be like, okay, mm-hmm. know your boundaries. Like, if you're like too professional. Big. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that was just such a fun part of being on set. And then also when you watch the show back later on, you're, you get to see what you produce yeah. and you put out there and what everyone else gets to see. And I also love the aspect of pitching and being able to really express, you know, your own voice and what goes on air and being able to produce something that you're proud of and passionate about. Right. That's cool. Like, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> Can you tell us about some famous f- some famous people you met while working on Good Morning America? So, what comes to the top of my head is J Lo. I met Jennifer Lopez. Oh. Um, I actually did. I was able to get a selfie with her just because she was with another anchor, and they took a picture together. So mm-hmm. we ended up taking a selfie, a quick selfie. Um, I met. I don't know if you know the comedian Matt Reif. No. I took a I took a photo with him. Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Like I said, oh Madison Beer, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <This> so <looks> so <laughs> something really fun about Good Morning America is we have the summer concert series, which is going on all throughout. You know, the m- summer obviously. Yeah, but wasn't she like recently there? Like I saw like a few like pictures on Instagram of of, of, of like a fan account. Uh, from Madison she, Beer? Yeah. Yeah, so she, she was there last summer, and that's how I met her. Right, okay, that's yeah. cool. So this summer, I know tomorrow we have G-Eazy. Um, who else do we have this summer? I think, like, Sam Hunt. And we have Megan Maroney coming up, which is, like, she's a new and upcoming country star. Okay, so that's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. Nice. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite part about your job? I think the creativity is super exciting and to have a job where I get to express myself in that sort of sense and being able to see and push the different limits um, is very exciting to me. I'm not someone who likes to just sit behind a desk and that's it. (laughs) I like to be creative with it, collaborate with other people, other producers, which is really fun. And I get to learn from some of the best in the industry. I'm working at Good Morning America. So I'm working right under, you know, the anchors of Robin Roberts, Michael Strahan, George Stephanopoulos. And it's been great to just be in that atmosphere and kind of hold yourself to that high standard of what you want to end up achieving later on. That's cool. Yeah. (laughs) Um, What are some of your hobbies? I love to dance. I've been a dancer since I was two years old. I was on the college dance team at Hofstra University, and I was actually on the U.S. national team for POM. And so we competed at what? For POM dancing. So that, (laughs) we kind of look like cheerleaders. I forget not a lot of people know what POM is. POM (laughs) is a very energetic and hard-hitting dance style with both jazz and hip-hop components. So it is very fun to watch, I think, just because it's like a mix of your normal dance, like, turns and leaps with the mixture of flipping involved, right. too. So it's really, really fun. So we went to a world competition in 2023 as the U.S. National Palm Team, and we got the gold medal. We were up there against Japan and Finland, and just to be up there singing the national anthem oh, wow, and cool. having our gold medals was really, really cool. That's so exciting. It's so crazy how, like, this hobby that I had when I was two turned into becoming a world champion. But wow. it's something that I still really love today, and that's why I also went back into pageantry as well is because I get to perform a talent, and that's right. obviously my talent is dancing. So that's something I try to keep up with, and, of course, I'm not going to be as good as I used to, <laughs> but now it's just for fun. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, when he met, I still can't believe you, like, actually met Madison Beer, like, I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, mind blown. Yeah, isn't that so Oh, crazy? my God, that's so cool. And I brought my little brother, too, because it was, like, a concert. Oh, okay. So, I brought my mom and my little brother, and that was the first time they came to the Aww. Good Morning America studio, nice. and my little brother was so excited to see Aww. Madison Beer, and even took a photo with her, too. Aww. So, it was a really cute that's moment, sweet. and she, she really was so sweet and so humble. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What did you say to her? I'm sorry. I'm like, ah. um, I, I don't think I got a lot of time with her because it was like really? in between oh. her segment. Okay. Uh, definitely complimented how she sang, though. Yeah. It was beautiful. You have to. So. I mean, yeah. That's cool. Didn't have, didn't have the chance for a long conversation, though. Okay. Aww. Yeah. Do you guys follow each other on uh, Instagram? 
imagine. I wish, but <laughs> I follow her. She doesn't follow okay. me. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. What would you say to her if you met her? Oh, my God. I would probably, like, oh, my God. I'm going to cry. I would probably <laughs> <Don't> cry. <laughs> I'm not Madison here. Don't worry. <laughs> no need to be nervous. Um, I would probably, like, end up crying. <laughs> What's your favorite song that she's singing? Do you have one? Um... There's a lot of I I, there's a lot of songs that she has. My favorite, my top two, are probably "Good and Goodbye." That's that song is really yeah. good. Um, my second one is "King of uh, Everything" off good of choices. off of a spinning album. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love good those ones. songs. Good ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I could choose. Also, during the, the spinning tour, the concert that I went to, yeah. me and my sister left to get to beat the crowd. So while she was like, like the beginning of like her singing King of Everything, me and my sister had to leave. I'm like, no, I don't want to <laughs> leave. Yeah, I know. I was like, right? the, best, the best song. Your I favorite know. Song. Like, uh, you couldn't even say. And plus, that's when the. Uh, confetti came up, so I didn't get to see that, but it was just it's awesome right. just to see her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You saw the others. Do you yeah. have anyone that you would love to see in concert? Uh, well, I've been to a concert once. Uh, that was back in 2010. My mother and I, we saw um, um, Jill Scott and uh, Maxwell, those oh, like cool. R and B singers. Yeah. yeah. Is and that your style? I mean, like, yeah, it's, like, her style, yeah, and, like, after that, we got home, like, so late, <laughs> because, yeah, the concert was yeah. really long. Yeah, concerts <laughs> do go are, long, and yeah. then you have to mm-hmm. wait to leave the concert, because, like, your your sister, you know, you yeah, leave Yeah, there's, early. like, other people, like, trying to get out, and it's, it like, It takes crazy. a whole other a hour just to there. leave the concert. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that, but... I, I do like concerts. I try to, I'm going to try and go to some more, but okay. I do love like outdoor concerts. I know yeah, in Long Island cool. we had like an amphitheater outside and I went to a country concert there oh, wow. for Sam Hunt and it was that must great. Have been fun. Yeah, okay. it, was, it was a lot of fun. It's cool. <laughs> Definitely going to try and go to more. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Um. Also, another concert that I'm, I don't know, there's, they're like a rock band. I don't know if you've heard of them. Um, the the name is uh Black Veil Brides. Oh no, I've never heard of that. So mm-hmm. in September, uh, it'll almost be like a year. Um, September twenty fifth, I think. Last year, my brother surprised me with VIP tickets as a birthday gift and Christmas gift. Oh, that's amazing! And I was so shocked. I was like so excited. I was like, Andy! <laughs> wow, what a nice brother! You yes, have. it was so cool. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yeah. And just like talking to Andy was like just amazing. He was so sweet. <laughs> That's so fun. You know what? One concert that I've been to and I also met someone was Sean <laughs> Mendez. Oh my I god. I got to meet Sean Mendez. I know him. You know him? Yeah, he's he's a year older than me. He just turned twenty six on the eighth. Listen. Yeah. That's a I've good I've known him to since know. he was a teenager. Really? That's when he started singing, yeah. I believe. Yeah, he was in like the boy group, like, you know, those vines. Yeah, he was doing, know. like, covers on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember the song Stitches. I was just going to say that. Life yeah. of the Party. Party. That was his first song yes. I heard. Yeah, it was a big <laughs> hit. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I used to... I still love Shawn Mendes, but, He's like, good. he hasn't come up come out with as much music as he did in the past. Yeah. But, right. oh, my goodness, I loved his music. Well, I know he released, I think, like, two songs. I yeah, think. I think he's supposed to be coming out with, like, another like, album soon. Really? Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, I'm super excited. That's cool. Oh, yeah, and he was dating Camelia Cabello, but then they broke up, like, two years ago. Yeah, but I heard yeah, they that they're back together I, somewhere. I saw I pictures. Yeah. I, thought, yeah. I don't know if it's gossip. I don't know. Rumors. You know, oh, yeah, yeah I don't rumors, know. Rumors, but <laughs> I did see that they were hanging out together in okay, public. Okay, that's cool. So. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that would be great because I love them together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really liked Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez together. They were so cute. I wanted them to like have yeah. babies together, like the whole thing. I know. <laughs> I do have to say, I just love Ariana Grande. Yes, like, <laughs> she's popular. I I recognize her from Victorious. She played Cat Valentine. Like she's the come red so hair. Far. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I really do love her. Like no one can make me hate her. I don't yeah, care no. what anyone's <laughs> mad at her for. My mom 
mom doesn't like well she says that like she's like a diva and like she yeah. and then how ha- and how how she's like not a good person but i'm like mom it's ariana grande <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just love her opinion. music yes. yeah i really love her music she's so good yeah <laughs> sometimes when i wear my hair up and like the, the ponytail, ponytail. Yeah, oh people my are god like, yeah oh, you kind of remind me of ariana grande and i'm like oh Stop that. <laughs> don't even oh my god <laughs> no but that that's a really good compliment <laughs> yeah no i know it's like I don't know. That's a stretch, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have the brown eyes. You just do the makeup, the cat eyeliner. The eyeliner. Yes. And then when it's up in a big ponytail, it yes. makes sense, I guess. <laughs> and I used to wear, like, very big oversized hoodies. And that was oh, an Ariana Grande yes. staple. <laughs> so, yeah, it made sense. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yes. I, w- I think Ariana Grande is, like, one of my top favorite artists. Yes. And it probably <laughs> is, like, cliche. But I really do. I like her a lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Aww yeah (laughs) where did you go to school so for elementary school i went to saint anne's school in dungan hill so it was kind of near the bowling alley okay and then for high school i went to st joseph hill academy which is an all-girls high school wow yeah it was definitely uh, a strict like curriculum (laughs) but it readied me for college and I gained a lot of college credit while in high school. And so when I went to Hofstra University for college, I graduated a whole year early, which saved me a lot of money. And I was able to get some really cool opportunities working Mm -hmm. in television. That's cool. That's nice. Yeah. Now, did you always want to work in television or how did you like go through that? Yeah, that's a really good question. I didn't really know about the careers that were you know, in television. Right. No, nobody really talked about that. And, and especially in my family, everyone got like business degrees, finance degrees, went into business. And at my high school at St. Joseph Hill Academy, I felt like it was very prestigious. They were setting us up to be like those business women, these lawyers, these doctors. And I tried so hard to like want to do that. And I just couldn't. It didn't appeal to me. Okay. And so I started researching more in the digital media realm maybe like a video editor which I still do on the side but once I got to college I noticed that there's so many parts of television and so many different genres of television like there's not just news I would love to work in reality tv one day and Mm -hmm. and sports is also so exciting it's and so cool so there's a lot of opportunity there that I just think wasn't talked about when I was younger so it, it was always like I wanted to be in that creative kind of industry right. but didn't know what specifically so it didn't really form until I got to college and I saw the opportunity okay uh, that's cool what year did you graduate St. Joseph's um I graduated St. Joseph Hill Academy in 2020 when the pandemic hit oh wow, okay, wow. yes <laughs> so I didn't even get to walk in my graduation oh Aww. right yeah. the pandemic yeah I know the pandemic it ruined like everything <laughs> virtual <laughs> right yep, yeah so the last half of my senior year was <laughs> was all through zoom and wow. oh my gosh that was terrible yeah. Aww, missed all my last dance competitions i was literally more bummed about that than school yeah Aww. i feel bad for the 2020 graduates yeah. totally. listen i'm doing i'm doing yeah. okay now but yeah i'm doing it is what i'm doing it okay is. but even like the first half of my college experience or like the the first year of college moving in we couldn't even leave our dorm rooms at least they let us move in wow. so i had my roommates i lived with three other girls but uh, besides that, like, we weren't allowed to do anything. So it was... Wait, what do you mean? Like, we couldn't go out and, like, meet other people. That's like annoying. In the lunchrooms. Aww. I don't even remember. I think they had, like, we had, like, circle tables, but they had those clear, like, I don't know. I don't even know what you would call it. But, pe- yeah, the pe- the plexiglass. <laughs> so they had clear plexigla- plexiglass <laughs> around the table. <laughs> And so we couldn't even, like, talk to each other next to each other. We had to, like, sit across from these big tables. Social distance. Yeah, (laughs) it was all social distance. And even for the dance team, I was on the dance team starting in the beginning of college. And all of our practices were via Zoom, even though we were there in person. Like, we had to practice in my dorm living room on Zoom. I couldn't even, I could not even practice with my team until March of 2021. Wow. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that was crazy. And then we competed in something called the virtual nationals. We had one week to prepare for this like national competition. 
we ended up winning it, even that's though we good. had one week of practice together. Wow, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it was like the most intense week. Okay. March <laughs> March 2021, uh, it was on the St. Patrick's Day, was the day I got my new sneakers. N- not these, the the other ones, the other pair. Mm-hmm. And then I got these uh, the following year, 2022. What are your favorite brand of sneakers? Uh, I, I don't really have a favorite, to be honest. Not th- none, none of them like make your feet feel good when you're walking? Uh, what are those? These, I got these um at the, it wasn't a store. I forgot what place it was called. Well, I'm only asking because I need a new pair of sneakers. Okay. <laughs> I've had the same sneakers for about like two years now. <laughs> it's time for me to switch it up. These are actually Brooks. My oldest sister told me about these. These are actually really good. Brooks. It, it says it good. right there. Yeah. yeah. My mom has two pairs of Brooks. Really? I heard they're good for running, and I, I do like to run, so I should try this My out. My sister used to do track in high school. She was amazing. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, so n- now I trust her, and I'll try out a pair of Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's great. They're yeah. good for walking, too. <laughs> Perfect. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I got these sneakers in April 2022. That was two months before I came to the program. Okay. Because I came uh, the first day of summer, 2022, June 21st. Wow. How did you find out about the program? Ah, oh, good question. So, so uh, like, I got these glasses on June 20th, 2022. And so, like, I got these glasses. Uh, my mother and I, we were just s- shopping at Stop and Shop. And uh, she, like, unexpectedly, she got a call from this program saying i can start like the next day i like i don't remember how i got in i just got in oh like like a blessing yeah definitely and what's your favorite part about it oh good question i'm glad you asked my favorite part well first my favorite day of the week when it comes to this program is wednesdays because um mr frank's fitness kim cooks and the monthly outings oh that that's is the fun. best part of yeah. the program yeah. Yes, yeah, so I've been here for two years now. Oh, wow. Did you expect that all of that would be a part of the program? Did you know what you were getting into? or Like when I first came When you came first came here? in, yeah. So when I first started, uh, so like I when I first entered the studio, like I was like quite nervous. Like I didn't know anybody at the program except for her, except for Grace. <laughs> yeah, cause we like knew each other because we did this like virtual online with like yes. this teacher named Miss Bridget. Yeah, oh, how cool. so Bridget. it was funny. Yeah. It was just a coincidence, but it was funny. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. that's yeah, so yeah. We that's met so then. Cool. We you guys met go way back. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah. <laughs> But we did not go to school together. No. We, didn't. we no. just met virtually. That's it. Yeah. Oh, wow. She's been here for three years. Yeah, yeah. I started, I think, like, March 2022. Yeah. 21, wow. I thought. 20, yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember. On it. I th- it might have been 2021, I think. <laughs> Time flies. Time flies. Um, it's crazy. But, yeah. What's your favorite part? <laughs> uh, my favorite part of the program is... Um, I like going out on Fridays because Fridays is when you go out to eat. So, like, restaurants, and that's, like, always fun. (laughs) What kind of restaurants? Um, We usually go – last week we went to – Oh, my God, where did we go? I'm trying to remember. I feel like I saw it on Instagram, actually. Yeah, we went to – Oh, my God, where did we go? This is going to bother me now. (laughs) No. No, this is gonna bother me. All right, do you have a favorite at least? Okay, um, my favorite restaurant to go to is I like going to Chili's or the Lamonte. I love pasta, pasta is my favorite. What kind of pasta? Um, penny vodka or spaghetti. That's good. (laughs) That's I love penny vodka. Yes, (laughs) never heard of it. Penny vodka, (laughs) you never heard of it. No, I don't think so. Oh my goodness. It's, it's, it's like it's like the vo- you know, vodka, you know, the vodka sauce. Yeah, the vodka sauce. Yeah. It's, vodka. Not actual, it's not like the super like red. There's like the super red sauce, and then there's more of like the pinky red sauce ish. Like that's kinda, that's like, Italian, actually. isn't it? Oh, I remember where we went. We went to Miller's Ale House. That's just remember. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Wait. oh yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you eat that, there? That place was, was good. good. I ordered the chicken mountain melt. That's my favorite thing to get there. You like chicken. Yes. I can tell from your <laughs> sub order. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I That's love funny. chicken too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite restaurant that you went to? 
Oh gosh. So last week we went to um, what was that restaurant called? The Ale House. No. Oh. Each oh, group I goes to like their own guys. different, different uh, restaurants. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're in different groups. Gotcha. Yeah. We used to be in the same group, but they switched yes. it. I think in like June. You guys uh, talked uh, too May, much. May actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You don't remember? Yeah, I I, I forgot the name. It's okay. okay. <laughs> we'll get back to it. You'll end up remembering, like like I did. Yeah. Like it's it's <laughs> a new minutes. restaurant that I've never been. Oh, that's good okay, though. That's so you get cool. to try new things. It's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have any, any more questions for Gabriella before we wrap it up, or anything else you want to get off your chest, any of? Um. Okay. So, <laughs> music question or comment <laughs> okay um if you were able to meet madison beer again what would you say to her and why <laughs> oh that's hard i'd probably ask her about some of the inspiration behind her music and like her thought process in creating it okay and then how she kind of got her confidence from being like this instagram influencer and yeah. changing not really like not changing who she is but just changing her brand to be like i'm a, i'm actually a singer so right. i think that's that's really cool and bold right yeah definitely yeah <laughs> that's cool yeah <laughs> anything else oh uh, oh yeah what's your favorite restaurant um okay now my turn to be stumped <laughs> but <laughs> restaurants are hard because but we have so, so good. many good <laughs> ones on Staten yeah. island but I do <coughs> have to say, like, my favorite pizza on Staten Island has to be from Lee's Tavern. And I it, it's, like, around the block for me, so I go there whenever I get the chance. But it's so good. Mine is Brothers. Brothers is the best. Oh, they do have good pizza, too. Yep. Uh, yeah. My mom orders it, like, every other weekend. Yeah, I have to say, they so do have good, good pizza, too. So, yeah, there, there's, like, a couple have of Have you spots. ever been to Town Deli? I don't think so. The, the, their pizza's good. Oh, really? I didn't even know. Yeah, they have they pizza. <laughs> yeah, so I got to check it out. We got to discuss restaurants. Yeah. This. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys can uh, now okay. All right. Well, this was so fun. Yes. I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah. I would do this any day. I okay, love Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> nice yeah. talking to you. Yes. Nice talking to you as Thank well. You. Uh, awesome. <laughs> that, that was so fun. That was so, that was yeah. so much fun. You guys are so was. good at this. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad we got to talk about Madison Beer. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she's... Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.